Good morning, Coffee with Clark on Wednesday, and we're in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, studying the verses that have to do with being saved by grace through faith. It's good to see you every morning in the Word of God, and we're picking up where we left off. A talk yesterday about us being under the influence before we knew the Lord Jesus as our Savior, under the power of the devil, the prince of the power of the air. He's the one that's at work, and every sinner out there that doesn't know Christ and who basically hates God and doesn't want to walk in his ways. And it says we all were part of this family of the enemy uh, at one time in our lives. We conducted ourselves in verse 3 of chapter 2 of Ephesians in the lusts of the flesh. We fulfilled the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we were by nature the children of wrath just as others. So it clearly shows us here that the things we did, like other people are doing right now, we used to do all that stuff, fulfilling what our flesh wanted us to do. Uh, all the evil intentions, the desires of our mind and our body, we were acting out because we were under the influence of the devil. And it says we were, by nature, children of wrath, just as others. So we weren't born children of God. We were born children of the evil one when we were born. It wasn't until Christ came into our life and we became Christians that we began to have uh, the nature of our Creator, God. And so right now, uh, the children of wrath are the unbelievers. And uh, at one time, again, remember back when, you were like that too. So when you look at lost people, pray for them, love them, understand that the influence in their lives is not from God, but from the devil. And they need the gospel in order to believe in Jesus Christ and get saved and born again and have a new heart to live a different way, fulfilling the desires of God now for his glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you tomorrow.